Oh, hey baby. <laughs> what are you still doing awake? Yes, I did just get home. <laughs> it was a really long day, yeah. What are you still doing awake? Oh. Did you try taking melatonin? What about a gravel? What? Gravel makes you sleepy. It's a side effect. Okay. Well, my mom always used it when she needed to go to bed. And she's a nurse, so she should know. <laughs> so you've just been sitting here all night? Oh, baby. not mad. Why would I be mad? No, of course I'm not mad. Okay. What is it? What's keeping you awake? Well, we might as well talk about it. You know, since we're both awake and all. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. But I want to make sure you're relaxed, at least. You know, I can't make you fall asleep, but I can try to help. So, what's up? Okay. Well, do you have a lot on your mind? Then let's start there. What are you what are you thinking about? Oh <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm really flattered. Um what is it that you you're thinking of me? Oh um, so you've kind of been waiting for me to get home? You are so cute. <laughs> I'm sorry I got home so late. Yeah, I texted you. Did you get it? Okay. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I don't want to leave you in the dark or anything. No, because I hate it when you leave me in the dark. I always want to know what's happening. Well, I guess I'm like protective of you. I feel like you kind of have to be when you love someone. <sighs> mm -hmm. So what else? I'm here now, so you don't need to think about that anymore. What else? Well, that's something you can't really avoid, is it? <laughs> Baby, I hate to break it to you, but you're gonna have to hand in your assignments, yes. <laughs> because... You, uh, listen, babe. What is it, like a PowerPoint? I heard you talking about it the other week. Right? That's what it is? It's... It seems... Like such a big task. Listen to me. Listen to me. It seems like this really... Big task. And it'll feel like it in the moment. But when you get up there, and you get all those nerves rushing through you, and you just get it out there, and it'll be done, and then you're like, wow, I... I that really wasn't all that much that I needed to worry about. I did all of that for no reason. 
That's what it's gonna be. That's what it's like every time. And you should know that. You're working yourself up for nothing. It'll be a piece of cake for you. You always knock it out of the park. You do. You do. Hey, I've seen some of the projects that you've made. Okay. They're fantastic. You're good at what you do. What can I say? Listen, babe, don't stress about it. Okay. There's... Quite literally no point. I mean, you have to do it, and you're gonna do it, so why stress about the fact that you're gonna have to do it? <laughs> and I know it's easier said than done, babe, I know. But I'll always be here for you. Always, always. I'll cheer you on. I'll even help you. Help you do your little assignments. Mm -hmm. And then whether you do good on them or you do bad, right? Doesn't matter because I will like you and them either way. And what am I? <laughs> I'm the best prize. Thank you. <laughs> no, but really, don't stress about that, okay? It's gonna be worse if you stress about it and then you don't get any sleep and then you wake up or I guess don't wake up on the day and you're like, oh, I have to do this whole presentation when I'm sleep deprived and then you're gonna get through it and you're gonna be like, wow, it was such a waste. <laughs> it was such a waste of my sleep. I mean... Baby, trust me, I've done it before. I've been through the exact same thing you're going through right now. You know, you're not the only person in this relationship with anxiety. But, um, it, it, it's always, like, it just feels like such a waste sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, I was stressing over this for what? And that's what's happening right now. And I know it's easier said than that. I know. I know it's hard to turn your brain off. When I was growing up, my mom, all she would do, be saying to me when I couldn't sleep was, just turn your brain off. Like, it's so easy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, all the time. I've had it for the longest. And, uh, you know, no, it's just become a normal I guess, for me to not sleep. Well, I'm not gonna wake you up when I can't sleep, babe. It's gonna happen a lot. It does happen a lot. But the fact that you're usually <laughs> asleep next to me does kind of ease the stresses some. Um, so I guess I apologize for not being here. When you needed it. I know, I know. I know. It's at work, whatever. But still, it doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> Do you feel better that I'm here now? That's good. I don't want you to stress about things. If I could take it all away, I would. Mm hmm You mean so much to me. I could tell you... Um... <laughs> there's this one time... Um... I had a fitness test. And oh, it was so hard <laughs> for me. I was always failing my fitness tests on my first year. Oh, yeah. 
big fat F's. It was only until my last year where I finally got a B on a fitness test. I was so excited over a B, a straight A student, Lord. But um, I was always failing a fitness test and I don't know why this, it just, I was so stressed over it and I didn't sleep at all and I knew, I just knew it was going to be terrible and I went to the, <laughs> I went to that fitness test and I did horrible, I'm telling you, I did worse than my first one I ever did, you know, even though I had been training non-stop and it was, it was just horrible, not to say, <laughs> maybe that's a bad story to tell, not to say that your presentation is going to be horrible, babe. No, no, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. I'm just saying, um, we stress over the stupidest stuff, and it's always for no reason, and the outcome just doesn't feel great, you know what I mean? I ended up doing a retest, though, so that was fine. I still failed the retest. <laughs> On my first year, yeah, I failed that retest. But, you know, I still went to the retest. <laughs> yeah. And I got some sleep. It was great. I know. I know. I know. <sighs> Just trying to empathize here. <laughs> So, when do you have to present? I just want to know so I can prepare. Well, yeah. It's a big deal to you. And since it's a big deal to you, it's gonna be a big deal to me. And I want to make sure that after your big stressful presentation that you can come home to all your favorite stuff you know I'm gonna go over the top I want you know your favorite food I'm gonna cook for you and you know your <laughs> favorite pajamas and your favorite TV show <laughs> Ooh, I can go out and get your favorite drink. Mm-hmm. And your favorite person. <laughs> Not to label myself or anything, but... <laughs> and it'll be like, instead of you seeing the presentation as this, um, enemy... It could be, like, a reward, you know? <laughs> yeah, you kick ass at the presentation, and then you come home, and you get absolutely pampered by your girlfriend, hmm? hmm. So just um, focus on that instead of your stinky, stupid presentation. <laughs> okay, not stupid, but, you know, still pretty stinky, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'll do anything for you. Do you feel better now? Mm, that's good. What was that? Of course, of course I can. Yeah, of course I can stay up. I can draw little patterns on your arms and stuff. Well, not like I haven't been doing that. <laughs> You know, it's just like mindless doodling. Do you want me to keep talking or 
Do you want silence when you're trying to, trying to sleep? Okay. What can I talk about? Oh, I, you know, the doodling thing, it's actually funny. So, in, I want to say, second grade, our teacher would give us little, like, booklets that we could draw in whenever reading time came up. It was, like, second or third grade. And... <laughs> she would always make us doodle because she was like, you can retain information better if you doodle. So, which I personally don't believe that, but I digress. Anyways, we always used to doodle like I'm doing right now with your arm. And she would always make sure we were doodling and not drawing which was weird to me because you can't be drawing but you have to be doodling doesn't make any sense right so you know i was an artiste and what i would actually do instead of doodling is that i would take these um like grid grid paper I forget what they're called. It's, it's like grid paper. And um, I would <laughs> I take out highlighters and I would just color in the squares. And I would color it in like every square was a different color and they couldn't touch the same color next to each other. And I'd just do that or you'd make like pixel art or whatever. And... I found it funny because I was allowed to do that and that took a lot of my focus but she just she just didn't care <laughs> I was like you know I, I would probably be listening more if I was drawing right now but you know doodles yeah it was really stupid we also had when I was really young this is this was when I was really young um, which now that I look back on it, I hated my elementary school years while doing them. They were like agony, but looking back, it seems like I just really missed out on a lot. <laughs> um, well, I didn't miss out, but you know, I always thought everything was a punishment when it was just, it was really nice but um we had these people come in and they were like chefs or something i have no clue who they were they would come in and they would teach us how to bake and cook so we'd have like an hour set aside and <laughs> we'd like infiltrate the library and i don't have no clue why we did it in the library but we did it in the library and whatever enticed them to make children handle knives and wash dishes alone. Oh my goodness. But I remember we made blueberry muffins. We made stir fry one time. And I just, I, looking back, that was like kind of awesome that they let us do that. But I remember, um... I remember when well, this was like sixth grade, I think, but we, me and my friends got assigned to dishwashing duty and dishwashing duty was great because all the other kids went back to class and you were sent to like the dishwashing area, um, which was like basically a closet with a bunch of sinks in it, <laughs> but um, we would go while they were in class and we'd <laughs> wash dishes and it was really funny because I remember we would throw bubbles at each other and just make a huge mess in that room and it, it was insane that no adults 
were <laughs> were supervising us and we weren't I don't even know if we were washing things correctly. Apparently one of our friends was quote unquote trained on how to wash everything correctly, but she did not teach us and it was it was it was so much fun. Hated them while living them, but looking back, it, it, it was really fun. I have a lot of weird stories like that in elementary school. <laughs> you still awake? <laughs> Good night, baby. I love you so much. <laughs>